lot of utility being spent over towards spike A currently. Planted. And that's a spike being planted. So back we come, Sentinels. They know it's not B. And look at the lineup, too. You've got the barrier or blocking off this plant just from showers and beyond that. Clear space with that toxic screen. Stops the first one before gets the counter trade. The now it's just down to can they actually win the gunfights when they matter most? Mitch trying to hide into a poison cloud and largely no successful kills whatsoever. I'm uh, not a great flash. So as long as Zom says hookah, this is a big threat. Okay, with a lockdown, the first shots also sees poison stuck behind the container, but poison exiting away does find a trade. So four before we go, kills starting to come through on the retake though in favor of Sentinels. The post plant set up for Cloud9 Blue will be stacked over toward the god in the back. Of which Zeta is able to find one. The power for Sentinels are fully here. The kills are coming through right into the waiting arm potentially of Zoms. There's one. He's gonna find himself a second. That's the spike. Looking for the third. No. Boys will at least find one response. And as Zeta gets another, this because of this point. Yep, Shazam. Up for it. We'll find the kill. One left remaining. Spike on the floor. Just Zeta. No gun. We'll have three. Now gonna start dropping down. These stars, dimensional rifting play, boys going all the way to the back side. He's going to find a lot of information off this, but again, there's not a lot of interactions that are favoring Cloud9. It's a three for two exchange, favoring the defenders. Sick still has the showstopper, pushes that one out for an elimination. Mitch trying to find trades, but can only walk. He's been so good at getting out of here for free, though. And how about that? Not just for free, he also takes first blood with him and oh, rotating over. He's going to find himself two good patients for the third. Going to use the double dismiss, knowing that Zeta is still playing the same angle. There's really not a lot that he's going to be able to do from here. Yep, this should be a flawless. It's going to be hard to walk into A with the Viper Spit already being committed. You do see the fake out coming through, so it's actually going to be. Dapper backing up a little bit. Play all the meanwhile coming through. Who contends? Well, the find one. Paint shells will grab it. Time to play with. They could even cancel here. They can go quiet and force Sentinels to rotate. But oh. here we go. Straight and intense the Empress. Getting a bunch of kills. It's actually sick. We got up three so far. Employees respond in any kind of way. It's two versus two. Dapper will be there. From the Aldrone offense. Employees trying to make an early call. But 10 still from this back angle. In the defensive side, it's three. has been free. The Spike gravity down. well comes through. You thought Soms maybe gets a lineup. But oh, the dismiss. Still finds one. The dismiss is able to keep one alive. 10 three takes the fight. Now the overheal. Floppy stuck in a corner, no, it didn't, he's actually able to find another, so now the flash comes through, boys on the way forward, nice one tap here, and looking good for a drifty, but Dapper is in the way, finds three, Leap does the same, Showstopper comes right through, Ten's able to respond, now the dismiss gets the information on Floppy, wants to take the angle, even jump shotting with the classic, maybe just to find the last shot, Here comes through, Rift will be used, and well, they will see Dapper inside, the snake bite comes down though, and Dapper still is able to find first blood, so that's a full ultimate use for Poise, he's not going to see too much with it, goes immediately back to the gate crash to get safe, and it does technically fade out this Showstopper from six, so he's not going to find anything with this, but numbers still prevailing for Sentinel's defense in a 5v4. And we're just training ultimate for ultimate here. Yeah. The Viper Spit gone though, actually it might be, because you had Dapper kind of leave for a little bit, so... Yeah, the Viper Spit has fallen at this stage. That's not bad for Cloud9 at all. Boys, let's go down in tens and once more dismisses away. Sentinels are here. Cloud9 Blue trying to commit to this one. Starting to lose a bit of time, and they oh. can't walk into sight at all. They can't even plant. All their members are dead. It's just down to Floppy. A couple of stars. One versus four, not really looking the best. Just winning their one, Sentinels play up. I mean, nobody knows that he's in this position. Zom's checking, he does get sideswiped, but you still have these defense members with weapons over through long. Sick will find one elimination on his re-entrance from the front. Poise trying to respond, not going to do it. So the trades are decent for Cloud9 Blue. Weapons will be collected just for Mitch for now, who does have the ability to use a resurrection if required, but not an opportunity to use it just based on where his friends have perished. Cosmic Divide comes down, but Dapper's beaten the timing, so Dapper's actually in front of the Cosmic Divide, can come through from laps, and he's gonna get taken down by Mitch, the only member of Cloud9 that actually had a gun. Dimensional Rift, not the gate crash, a couple members from Central Spec, quite a few, oh. trying to walk down, fighting the timing to Zeta. They thought that was safe because the slow orb, but it's not. I mean, Mitch slows long, and still you have Central's walking down. Uh, the, Mitch will try to go right into the resurrection, Shazam clearing out through Hookah, trying to get this under Sphere to find anything dapper flash but finds elimination before the effect largely takes away his vision now up to zoms we'll see players crossing and does catch floppy just before they can make way into the teleporter so it will be a 2v3 situation spike an opportunity to be planted here but oh, that gravity, oh, the gravity well gets used at the absolute perfect time from zoms mitch now taken down just to 23 hp well he's actually been decayed so an opportunity to regenerate some of that elf 
And it's a 1v2 now as he TP. finds the first of the Dapper. And yep, I was just about to say the TP is free for him to use, and that's exactly what will happen. Gravity Well will lock him in place for a little bit, but he should still be to get this spike planted. So much heal he can get. The problem is he's not going to plant here. Doesn't trust the time. We'll get the time of the Psalms. Maybe that's more important. Getting the kill for the 1v1. 30 seconds left. And possibly another TP. Ring around the ring. It's only been like two times, I believe, that uh, I've actually planted that round number one on the pistol in the round three. Beyond that, it's all come down to frags. Please down early again. His first death uh, stat's not going to be looking great today. Ken's just walking on through. This pistol's already looking pretty quiet. Sato, though, has something to say about it. Two kills. Floppy's recovered Hookah all of a sudden. Mitch is trying to work his way over. The doors closed at a perfect moment for Zed as he found himself the two eliminations to get us to a 3v3. Dapper trying to make sure that Hookah stays contested by way of utility will allow the rest of his members to move on forward and likely get a spike planted. And they will try to plant this on the back side of the site. So Cloud9 still forced to find a full retake. And even beyond that, look how far out Dapper is playing. He's all the way in the defensive spawn, making sure the that way. there are no other players that are rotating. We've swapped sides. This is like Sentinels are defending again. We, we Have we yeah. really, you know, gone the other way just yet? Sentinels get a defend B. Spikes been planted their way. Stick is quite low, though. It's been a couple of tr uh, frags going both sides. It's just the 1v2, but 6 on 4 HP. Ah, uh, and Floppy does get tagged up. He was on 100 health, but the shots from the backside from Dapper make this about an even fight. Health pool wise coming out of Sick is tickling the Cloud9 defenders. But, Mitch... <laughs> Not interested in tickles, because comes through for the headshot, finding first blood for Cloud9. Still staying a touch aggressive. Good information off the recon bolt that Shazam is still lingering towards the outsides. Ah, uh, Zoms! Oh, actually, he finds one, grabs the Holy. second, incredibly! He was actually trying to still do a little bit of star, da star dancing going through. Picking up his utility, but gets the gun up in just the nick of time, finds a couple of eliminations, and now Sentinels on their way through Hookah, but they have to get through Floppy. They will spend one member to do that. 2v2 we go. Plant should be good. Hunt is very available, though. So can that be used? There it is. Santa trying to stop the plant. We'll get a tag. A second. Uh, he's got to get the kill. And that's going to be Spike on the floor. That opens up the round entirely for Cloud9. The fact that Zeta gets a timing on this Hunter's Fury, having built it up over the past couple of rounds, Dapper now... Does he have the confidence to plant this one? He has no idea where Cloud9 is. He's just got to go for this one. And it's going to be able to get it down. In the sense where Cloud9 aren't in position to stop him anymore. With the Viper's Pit being played, this one versus two from Dapper is certainly possible. He's gonna go the long way around. You see that smoke integrity? Halfway down. Both players to one HP off the decay. And he's completely wrapped. He's gonna find one for free. Where's the last? Not able to keep the pit up. So Mitch will get a little bit of regen. Toggles for the spike. <gasps> Dapper sees his ponytail, but not going to make a difference. Mitch still clutches things up. To play through before that conversation gets started. Leaf made vulnerable. That'll be good for a first blood for Sentinel. Still trying to push through this. Flash comes through, but Tens is able to stay safe from that. Zoms as well, able to keep things even on the trades. One more flash out. Ah, but there's the divide comes through. Mitch has no idea where he's being tagged up from. It's Tapper from behind. Looking for the trade with the Bulldog is Floppy, but down to 11 HP. Here comes the trade. Sick and best of five. No map advantages or anything of the nature. It is just first purely the three. Pick up that operator. So that would have to happen again. Him on the Sentinel. First couple of shots from Tens and Sick are going to be great for first two kills. Beta also tagged down low. Zoms will convert first three kills, favoring Sentinels. Really solid hold. You need to find these frags. And it comes down to can Mitch find the first kill. You have a long flank coming through pretty darn quickly. Mitch does find one, but it's immediately traded. And now it's down to Floppy. He gets repo. Zoms is already up close to lobby. We'll hear one. That's Mitch in the corner. He's also revealed. Here comes the next contestant. Finds the first. Needs more than that. He'll get the second. Mitch will find the response, but it comes at a steep cost. Shazam, second one to peak. Does get tagged up heavily. Meanwhile, Leaf on the site has opened the door. That'll be great overall for Cloud9 as they now have some control. And as Zeta picks up the fall inspector, he converts onto Dapper, leaving things to sick for a 1v3. I mean, this is just all of Cloud9 walking up over towards A, and they'll find the two kills required. Sick will at least return one. One versus two. Zeta's on low HP. You can find the wall back. There it is. Zeta straight through the wall. And the heal is still available. Blaze coming up. Hmm. So maybe this is still doable for sick. You see a plant though? No, Mitch has got the angle. Straight away into heaven. Poise has eluded it completely. 
That will allow him a chance to play for Lurking Girl, but the offense is making its way on over. Showstopper out. It will not find anything, though, as Sentinels take the first two eliminations. Hunter Siri is also a part of this play. Mitch with the spike has never worked his way on yet, and his poise eventually gets revealed on the flank. He gets dealt with, leaving things to Floppy and Mitch. This would be a 2v4, now down to a 2v3. Smoke comes on just in time to block out Tenzo's LOS there. The Dapper holds on for a long time. There it is. He would dash again. Oh. Classic at the ready, and that's Tenz, baby. Two rounds now for Sentinels, and it comes down to Dapper. That's the first thing I'm going to talk about here, because Dapper off the burn, he actually gets a frag, which is so insane. Both can both be traded. Zombs wants to get aggressive. Finds the first, also deletes the boom bot, but feels like that's enough. Backs away. Ten, still up. Has the Dapper's play forward. He's going to have to find something here. It's going to be a 1v1 with Dapper, in which... Doesn't barely connect a single shot, so Poise moving quickly, trying to rotate in, trap wire revealing it. Now Sentinel's quick on the rotation, even the gravity well being spent. Dapper able to find the easy shot, trade there for Zeta, who keeps the... ...in all the util here, Zeta by himself, one versus three, doesn't have a lot to work with, and ten was C as well. Oh, Zeta's thinking it's about tough. Look at the kill, that's with the frenzy as well, that's possibly a free gun! Cosmic Divide coming through. Leaf. Oh, Leaf. Operator in hand, but misses the shot. Sick. Not gonna find anything, though. He had an angle on the Leaf, you thought, but as Mitch is able to put his... The gravity well slows things down. And Leaf, he actually dives right oh, on no. in, but... Oh, the oh, shots no. are not great! He's gonna get the slice and dice what in! <laughs> Floppy's able to find two behind it. Oh, boy. A little bit of comical relief, but... Sentinels are able to respond in part, and how about that from Shazam? Does take down Mitch through the Radiantite box. That'll be the spike on the ground. But Poi is still in the Empress, able to respond. Zom's up close, though. Has anyone read that he's already on the site? They know where the spike is. So as soon as he hears a sound cue, maybe there's a chance for him to get a timing on a peak and turn this into a 1v1. There's the first cue coming through. Finds the shots, gets the headshot, but... He cleared out, spike... And force the sick back. Oh, though, no. they do expect that there's a player close in the corner. Curveball will come through. Sick will use that for a double of one to two. Now shifting over towards the B side, or A side of things, rather, it's going to come down to Zom. Shazam's arrived as well. Zom swinging for the one. Shazam, though, waiting for the reinforcements. Mitch does still have the spike. Wants to still get this plant off. Hunter's Fury will come out to deny. Sick up top. Looking for some clearance. Does not see anything on the back side of the site. And, oh, the third dart out of the Hunter's Fury nearly connects onto Mitch. That would have put him on critical Spike HP. Planted. Spike goes down. Sick waiting. The rest of the retake will have to be either dropping out of heaven or coming from behind. Shazam finds the first. Mitch trying to respond. Deals with the running back. Looking for one more in the corner, but it's Shazam. The double up. And Sentinels back on the board as they tie things. Very similar setup here from Sentinels. Hot hands early. Star also down, but tens this time playing with an elevation. That's the only unexpected part. And now Sick using the curveball to push forward. Hunter's Fury is going to try to flush both these. Pretty strong on this defense so far, especially Zoms, who's had multiple kills. Straight away onto one. Zom's finding one is great. Shock Dart comes through, making life a little bit easier, but the dismiss will keep the player alive. Boys responding eventually gets the second, and all the overheal comes in. Spike will be collected. Boys trying to commit for it. Long flank coming around the back from Tens. Quickly making its way on for retake, though, is sick. He finds the easy elimination. And Sentinel cam stars everything. Making and their way on. Leap, <laughs> not going to be able to get far enough forward. As you mentioned, Dapper holding over by the gong. Finds one. Even the Hunter's Fury going to come through to make life difficult. And boy, has it. Finding two kills from Shazam. Leaving things all up to Floppy. Not clean with the play is coming around to A, but the spike is actually being planted right on top of B. So the A control through the site in favor of Cloud9 Blue, but they're not able to find the eliminations. Zoms is going to take down the Empress of Poise. Leap up top trying to change the angle. Nobody expected that, so we go to a 4v3 favoring Cloud9. Sentinels need to clear this player out, and they do so pretty darn quickly. So now it's just down to the retake. Tens from one side. Dapper and Sick were trying to play the other. Floppy in the back. Waiting to see anything out of Tens. Dark Cover still keeping him safe. Zeta going to check, but gets caught. But Floppy's still able to get the trade. 1v2 situation for Dapper. Not a lot of time to play for I'll with the it. Diffuse, and it's not going to be possible. Just looking for eliminations at this point. Won't even grab any of those. Cloud9 Blue make it a one-round half. Sick was also trying to play a bit aggressive. His tag down low, but tense with the Operator. Now onto the Knives. Finds himself a second. Floppy will keep the numbers even as he is able to find a trade away. So a 3v3 situation, but tens on these Knives, you feel like... 
It could potentially still be the key. A couple of them will miss, though, and Leaf will punish. So now a 3v2. Shazam and Sick on absolutely critical HP. Sick will return back after the run it back to 100 health, but the spike... Oh, so now Floppy can turn his attention, but he's on 62 health. Sentinels are going to try to overwhelm this. Here comes the double peek. Floppy finds the first and able to grab the second. Full kills total. Aggression coming out from Cloud9 over through A. This is where the full stack of Sentinels are. Even trades for now. But do they expect poise lingering through lobby? Dapper will be the one trying to hold the back end of this play through. Sentinels already onto the A site, but they're coming back to long. They're going to try to find a way to get this kill onto poise. Also with them is Leaf, and the isolation is beautiful. Mitch able to keep things interesting as he finds the recon bolt. This will be a really tough gunfight with the Frenzy against the Shields of Tens. First battle will come through, but it's actually... You already have Tens moving aggressively onto the site, able to take down Floppy. The gravity well is actually a little bit against him there, but it doesn't make much of a difference. Zeta's trying to hold down the trigger on the Odin, not going to find too much. With this six spanning in return, finds a double. There was that run it back coming through to find so much value. And everything is up to Mitch. He does find one isolated. Maybe a chance for a second, but no. Just as soon as he tries to get under the banister. Sight, even some stars being placed. Dapper making sure the rotation through B stays safe. Finds himself his second. Mitch also tagged up in the play. Does get a trap wire to reveal one, but... Oh, actually, the one tap is pretty solid, but Zoms is able to essentially line up two on the way through. And then make it a third. Why not? Sentinels up 10-6. Get caught on the exit, but no. Sam might be one catching, though. That's a free headshot, so... I mean, this is Central's heads up, just able to find and identify where Cloud9 are going to be able to come through from, knowing that, yeah, they're going to aggressively walk on through. Dapper's still around, by the way. It is 3v4, but Dapper could find a timing. Ken's already got Zeta down. And there it is, Dapper on the back end. They've... So pressure on the back side of this play. Shazam alleviates by finding the first blood. Floppy responds. That's the spike carrier also down. We're going to go 4v4. Floppy still holding his ground. Dapper, the next one to challenge, gets tested by Poise, but is equal to the task. And now Tens moves forward, finds the second elimination, and Sentinels will have a numbers advantage in a 3v2. But Zeta does keep things level with that trade through mid window. Mitch needs a gun. He can't get one. Mitch will be up now. One tap, one kill here would be beautiful. That trap wide might give him the advantage. It does not allow him to get the tap, though. So now it is just Zayda. Hunter's Fury hasn't been used yet. That would have been good. I mean, the Hunter's Fury would have prevented the plant or at least slowed things down. Zayda could have been pushed, though, so it's maybe a good idea not to do it. 5 HP, finds a headshot onto Zoms. Can it be possible? No. Tag down to below 50 health, but Sick has made his way forward, and nobody expected this play whatsoever. Completely concealed the entire way. Now they'll run it back. In combination, the Recon Bolt not going to find any eliminations. Zeta on the flank from Dirage, able to find one. Give him a second. Looking for the third, but it goes pinstripe into the kill feed. We've got ourselves a now 2v2 as Mitch holds on to one more. But everything turns on to Floppy. 1v2 to keep Cloud9 Blue alive. And Shazam with the spike is going to rotate over to plant over at C. Floppy maybe going to be tested, and he will. So the first one down, 1v1 with Shazam. Shots decent, but not good enough. The showstopper will be in play. But you've got a Hunter's Fury, you've got Knives, and you've got a Cosmic Divide. So just kind of hugging onto both spike sites. There's a control over towards Rubs, needs to win this 1v1 versus Poise for the important gravity wall. Tries to lock him up, but there comes a dash, and Leaf on the other end gets the double, and this should be the round now for Cloud9. Just the one alive, Death can't get around, so not going to have all the utility available. Aggression coming through here from Poise with the Judge. He does find one, but the response is deep. Ropes, yep, there's the picture. Picture alarm bots there, but Mitch still gets turned on by Dapper. So now all of a sudden, Sentinels have an avenue to work with. Rotating quickly is Cloud9 to get through screens, but Zeta gets red, but not well enough, apparently, as he does still find elimination. Clutch this. Dark cover going to make life difficult. Leave all on SMG for Zombs. Boys, looking to get aggressive off the alarm bot. Trigger does not dash away successfully, but doesn't need to. Finds three. Zeta will grab the fourth, and, well, you want to talk about maybe flick of the day. That is an impressive... Over tens in a position in heaven, but contact Aww. what we found. The smoke on the uh, minimap was there over towards B main. Floppy uses that where he just gets the perfect timing on the smoke, and now the rest of Central is trying to get through towards B, trying to rotate, and they're completely shut down. Shazam with the operator. I mean, there's still 35 seconds, so it's not even like he can freely save it. Just yet, his positioning has been revealed, and he's got. <laughs> oh, 
No, nah, here's Yori was fine, I'll be honest. <laughs> Yo the Yori was, the, it was kind of creative, it just wasn't a great comp, but this comp has checked so much information, the Neural Theft also allowed to come out. Now the peak. Sentry turret denied, but Mitch still able to double up. Meanwhile, over towards B, Sick does find one elimination, but Mitch working on his third collects. Spike down still in market. Keep that in the back of your mind. And Cloud9 are going to safely play the backside of their spawn. Timing good for Mitch working on the ace. It's just Shazam with an operator playing from the low We've ground. Seen and this before. Yep, we sure have. This comes down to the timing overall. Mitch not going to give him an angle as of yet. Shazam, the one required to make the play, comes up the ring. Mind if things do get dicey. Sentinel stacking. Here comes the first play. The Leer a little bit too late. Cloudburst will not really do too much. As Poise tries to move forward. Still with the shorty, but it's sick. <laughs> Puts him down. Barrier Orb trying to be placed. Mitch finds a second. Not going to get a third as Dapper is there for just enough assistance. Not sure why Poise wants to get that aggressive. A couple of flashes. One has been burnt. Gets... Leaf onto site, second one now burn as well, Leaf needs to get a couple of kills, close by a member, it's going to be dead, but through the wall maybe, not quite, but we'll get the kills anyway, C9, Leaf has managed to put himself into a 1 Other versus 1 against Shazam, 12 HP, Shazam on full, Shazam only needs one shot, and for Leaf, he doesn't think it, Pine working against him, Shazam is completely concealed, he has not been a part of any of these fights, Leaf thinks that he's up top, oh my goodness, the patience from Shazam pays off in a major route, the alarm bot to come through first, but there was only one player forward, so now the aggression coming out. It's still being forced, like, a round peg in a square hole, and Tens will punish. Finds himself too. There's the third, and I believe they still know that Zeta's nearby as well. The resurrection comes through. Sick is able to convert as soon as he puts the hands down for the res to find the fourth elimination, leaving things down to Leaf. Nothing for him. After that, you're gonna feed in. Here. Oh, Sick is gonna hear this push through. Finds the first, needs to get the second, and does Dapper meanwhile off screen. He's playing a solo mission topside A. He was able to find another Elin, but Leaf and Zeta are responding back beautifully to allow the defense maybe a chance at stabilizing, but as Shazam will be the victor of B main, it leaves Leaf again in a clutch up situation. 1v3, dropping down from ropes, and he's tagged up so heavily. No chance there, and now all of a sudden. If they win this next round, there's possibility for 5 7. That would be a heck of a recovery to get five rounds essentially in a row. Let's well, count our hitches, chickens before they hatch, but Shazam, first blood, also sees Floppy. Thought for a second he was going to still have the angle locked in, even though he was smoked up, but it's Sick who gets the traditional way. So a 5v3 situation, Cloud9 going to be forced to retake, and they want to start maybe going quickly. HLs comes through, but the slow orb will push everything back. Exactly Tens, considering where exactly they want to plant the spike, and as the neural depth comes out, the spike simultaneously gets planted down low. Oh, Leaf trying to come on through. Double blast pack play, but the barrier orb will deny Zoms up top with Tens working this on a cross. Coming through. This will stall the spike for being planted. You see Sentinel scurrying away, but no, Sick is going to hold this for the plan. He will likely be detained afterwards, so help is going to be here, or need to be here rather for Sentinels, but the fault line actually is going to delay a lot of players from being able to retrain their aim forward. Tense in the Empress, shut down, two for two exchange. Up top now, Leaf good for a second. Sam's the next one up on the high ground. Zam's still sniping, but that's down low, and he actually gets the pistol out to find another elimination, but now it's down to Zom's. And not going to be able to get the angle. Leaf was holding it largely all the way through. So when no cameras will persist. Boombot will be the first one forward. Dapper has been seen. He's also been tagged up a touch. And the spike is a part of this play. So this very well could be an opportunity to move forward. The paint shells again connect so heavily. Tens is completely flashed up in the gravity well. We'll give him a chance to respond. Also the devourer coming through to get him back to near full health pool. But still, Cloud9 on their way forward. It's sick oh for God. three in the corner. Is taking at least some of that sight line away. Zom's a part of this. Here comes the timing. Nobody even looks at Shazam. Finds first blood. Has the cloud burst to stay safe. Now it's down to Zom's to try to hold. Voice is deep though, and this is where Sick drops down. They don't spot him. They don't spot anybody. Sentinels have gotten all these kills for free. There's not been a single response. Finally, Zeta. It's Shazam down at least to make things more competitive, but it's only Mitch alive. And a multi-frag for Sick, who will now have a res, could even pop onto Shazam, probably won't need to. Map, and currently Sentinels are on the way. Although first blood is going to be good, Tens has pushed forward with the slow orb, but he doesn't know which way to check, and Mitch will find the kill for free. 
Throwing Thunder was also spent. Zom's in a heap of trouble. Still finds the elimination. Second one up. Takes oh, care of boys. How have you done that? And look at the rest of the C9 members. They're still coming over through sewers. So a Resurrection's in play. Zom's nearly good for a third. And now Dapper's in a position to try to convert. Zeta does win the opportunity to plant as Floppy finds two from ramps. So we go back to a 2v3 situation. Sick, even though he's fault line, still finds a kill. Shazam gets a read. The lockdown, though, in play. Already halfway to fuse. Looking for the full stick. Sick will clutch the... I do believe in the thrifty wins because we've seen plenty yeah. of them for both teams, especially from Cloud9, though, to be fair. And Poise does have knives out for the Jet Blade Storm. It's always very important. Here we go. Empress 10. His nose is coming up. 45v4, though. Mitch has been dropped down. Tens needs to reset. We'll finally get that one, but at the cost of Dapper. Tens with a couple. Tens. Tens or Tens, what I'm trying to say. Just down to the one now. Plays with the knives. Has to go up against the Empress. And Tens is looking fine. Oh, but he gets the reset. There's an opportunity still. Full HP, full armor. Cloudburst allows him to get the spike. And he just left. barely escapes. Not a lot of time remaining. Oh, gonna get a chance. Does tag up Tens just slightly. But this is gonna have to be a B commit. There's not enough time for him to get all the way back over towards A, and the high ground will be the next obstacle. And Sick makes use of it. Really phenomenal on the defense. And this is why I said in that first half, by the way, you're, you know, you're sitting there, you're looking at Sentinels, they're 4 and 8, and then I say, yeah, but Sentinels have that second half, and this is why, why, why I said it's look at this, they're 6 in a row. They are going to drop a member early. So we'll see if that ends up helping the side of Cloud9. Possible contact here, Leaf. Doesn't quite get boosted. Some half the time with the second with the headshot. Yeah, good help to get the barrier or down before it fortifies as well, because there would have been maybe an exit for sick, but not allowed. Floppy gonna be able to use the from the shadows to get on the site. After putting a cyber cage, he's gonna have to play his life through main, but he's gonna be completely overwhelmed. 5v2 situation, Cloud9 looking through the smoke itself. Yeah, poise his eyes, rolling thunder, it's gonna catch Zom. Zom's could be in trouble. Has to come down a sec. He finds the first poise was watching the back elbow check the entire way so no chance for sick to make a play now it's just down to shazam only real opportunity for him is to get the lurking kill on the mitch who was able to lock down first blood by the way off screen and tens his position moved forward early lockdown coming through zoms will have the ability to get away from this here comes the play forward for cloud nine and well zoms tried to hold his ground gets dealt with leaf still thinking about pushing forward paint shells and boom bot committed and will he push through this? We'll try to. Spam shot's coming through initially. Spike has not yet been planted. And as Shazam and Sick find some counter trades, there's still an opportunity here for Sentinels to actually contest this post-plant very quickly. Neural Theft will come out. Zeta looking for the flash. Does get two. Does he expect Sick to still be holding that same corner, though, is the real question. Nanostorm also coming out, but Tens finds elimination. Trying to work his way from the high ground. Zeta for a couple, and it just leaves things down to Floppy. 1v2 situation, the spike is still planted in his favor, but the resurrection comes through, the spam shot through the cloud burst will be good, sick! Armin, moving away, will be B most likely, does Shazam want to push up any further though? Here we go, rolling thunder into him, clears it, paranoia follows through, and now have the entire control. Shazam in a bit of trouble, Leaf trying to move forward, Floppy able to find first blood, but oh, it's a firing squad in the back. Boys able to at least respond to one in kind, so numbers still holding for Cloud9. Floppy, big 1v1 in the back. That will trap up Shazam pretty fully, trying to get together for Zoms to maybe try to approach this 2v4, but as the spike is planted, look where the defense is now kind of going to have to clear. You've got all four members of Cloud9 sitting in corners. It's just enough time to try it. Zoms will go for it. Pick up a gun, a couple members right in front of him, one to the left as you check it, floppy. As currently, notice the star again, that's very important. One gravity while pushing, here we go, Tens is ready, Tens has got to do it all. He's able to find one, gets to dismiss, Sick is there for help, how have they managed to so cleanly? Second flash coming through, Tens trying to spam through the cyber cage, but it's Sick who does get the trade for Dapper. Shazam is also committed the blades into the mix, but the opening engagements, <laughs> after all, you beautiful genius, you called that one perfectly. 4v2 situation, everything perfect for Sentinels on that setup. I mean, the real genius is here, uh, the way that Sentinels set that one up. I mean, again, Tens playing anti-flash here, hiding the corner. He knew the flash was going to come on in, and the gravity well, honestly, is the MVP. We talk about Zombs, we talk about the gravity well having maximum impact, and this is the road for Sentinels to take it to OT. Shazam with the operators already onto the line. This is going to be tough. First goal coming up. It should be a freebie. That's it. Mitch by himself now. One versus four. Not feeling great for the chances. Walt gets sick down. 
Can he get even more than that? We'll have to recover the spike as Shazam is watching it. He kills Shazam, actually. So maybe the 1v2 could left. be on board, but 58 HP and limited time. That sentry turret. He has no idea where they're going to come from. His eyes on heaven. Oh, all of this, the turret, the alarm bot, everything. He's got the utility. There's the first one. Now the lockdown's been earned. He's going to set this one up as well. Zom's going to take the challenge and take it in hand. Nearly a 1v4 clutch up for Mitch. Turned aside at the last second. And we're going to go to overtime. I mean, that was incredible. That was nearly Mitch saving the day for Cloud. Sick is going to get this down. So there's a lot of utility still remaining here as well. Can Leaf open up the account? Nope, not quite. Paint shells straight to the back of sight, you would imagine. Zom's in a great position underneath as well. This is going to be a hard one to crack. There's a paranoia. That's got to be the go. Dapper is playing a deep, lurking role. He's just kind of toggling these vents. And well, how about it? The first couple of kills are decent. Dapper making his play now from behind. Finds the third straight kill for Sentinels. It's a 3v2 situation. Some abbreviated health pools, but sick playing with elevation. Finds one. Boys, not going to be able to clutch up the double. And that'll be heaven, though. Again, that star's going to be pretty annoying. And tens can play off it. That combo's been pretty deadly. Sickle take down Floppy. So that's going to be the lurk taken care of. Nothing to talk about over towards A, straight Dapper. towards Heaven, can it get done, Dapper, for a couple of kills, and that might be it, 5 versus 2, Cloud9, that could be the tournament over. Tens will fall though, Mitch trying to keep the play alive, it's Soms and Dapper working together, Aftershock will push them out, Zeta, gonna be good for 2, this would be a 1v3 for him, but not gonna, 3 kills in the OT for Sick, there were a handful of rounds yesterday.